Hey there, Mid Michigan. Don't change that channel. It's time now for Studio 10, Corny Collins edition. And that's because we are going behind the curtain of the cast of Hairspray. <laughs> we have made it inside Wharton Center with none other than the Deidre Lang, who plays Motormouth Maybell. Welcome to Studio 10. How are you? Thank you. I'm good. I'm so happy to be here with you guys. Yes. We are so excited to be here with you. And you play such an iconic role but this isn't the first time that you've put on hairspray before yeah I know the first time you were a dynamite and now yes. you're playing motor mouth so tell us how does the show resonate in this character yeah. how does it feel this time it feels good actually you know back then it was 2003 I was much younger you know and I just remember that whole audition uh, experience and going in there I remember there was a girl that went in before me and I wanted this role so bad the role of the, one of the dynamites and I, the, there was a girl that went in there and sang my song before me and I was like something inside of me was like oh I gotta sing this song now because I gotta get this gig and I sang it and I remember them like oh she so I, I, when, I, when I saw their faces I was like I got this job and you get to play this iconic role yeah. what else has changed in terms of like the production you know uh, have things changed in terms of you know the choreography some of the set pieces because you know like you said this mm -hmm. is back yeah. Now we're in 2023. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's just a, a different generation, mm -hmm. you know, different kids that get to, to experience this. You know, sets are the same. Actually, we have the same choreography because Jerry Mitchell yeah. and um, right. a Michigan it, native. Yeah, exactly. So it's the same choreography. So for me, nothing has really changed. Well, I know sometimes you hear, you know, when you read a book. Sometimes yeah. you'll read it the first time, and then you'll read it again the second time, and then there are certain scenes, certain pages that will hit right. differently for you. Yeah. So now, this second time around, is there something different that you've learned with Hairspray that maybe you overlooked or you didn't notice yeah. before, that you kind of take in and hold a little bit closer? Yeah. Um, yeah, I wasn't, so, because I was younger, I wasn't aware of the story, really aware of the story. And now that I've lived some life, I have kids now, Especially the part of motor mouth just hits different because I can I can relate to her. I love that. And yeah. of course it is such an iconic role and you have this beautiful song and the beautiful beautiful lines. You know, what do you hope the me the message that the audience gets when you sing some of those songs or have those lines? Um, because it is such an impactful role that you know you resonate with more now. Yeah. I think it's the song is really, you know, a message of hope. And I'm giving, you know, these kids, you know, just because it's what it is now, it may not be that later. You know what I mean? And um, I remember we were in rehearsal, and the first time that I sang it in rehearsal, I couldn't get through it. I like started crying. I think I know where I've been. It's such a powerful yeah. number. You're not the only one crying. Let me tell you that. <laughs> there There's was a few of us too. <laughs> Ever had little tissues out <laughs> yeah. in the audience? Yeah. Well, we are super excited because we brought our tens. So on Studio 10, we love to give 10s out to people in places in our community that go above and beyond and deserve a 10 out of 10. Yeah. But this time, we're challenging you to give a 10 out of 10 to certain things in the show. Yeah. Okay. We're going to start off with uh, what move, like choreography, dance move, would you give a 10 out of 10 to in this production of Hairspray? Um, I'm thinking like uh, in the beat. Okay. Remember? Yeah. Okay. Uh, that when we're all together and we're doing this thing. Yes! Little March. <laughs> That's the 10 out of 10 for that one. All right. I love that. I love that. I love okay. it. Okay. Okay, now one of my favorite things with Hairspray is the costumes. They're so period. They're, they're bright colors. They're uh -huh. very vibrant. Which one of yours would you give a 10 out of 10 to? Mm. Edna's dress at the end. Oh, the red. Yeah, the that red. big dress. She comes, you know, that's just, yeah. So I give that a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Oh, oh my goodness. Well, thank you so much yes. for joining us. Thank you for 10 having out of 10 me. production. You're a 10 out of 10 actress. Motor Mouth oh, Mabel, yes. 10 out of 10 character. Really? Yes. 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 We're not lying. No, okay. thank Very you. good. It's really Very 100 good. out of 100. But right. listen, <laughs> we only have 10s with us today. <laughs> thank you yes. so much. Thank you so mm -hmm. much. And break a leg. We'll have information as to how you guys can see all the magic of hairspray. But coming up next, we're going to take a look at that red dress. Okay. We are going backstage and we're going inside Edna Flynn Black's dressing room. Please stay with us.